Hey, what's up? Do you remember Yulfan T2 Pro? This smartphone was shown on MWC in February 2018. It made a lot of noise. Yeah, it was a year and a half ago, but the phone hasn't gone on sale yet. We have already forgotten about it, but the Chinese manufacturer has launched a sale of Yulfan T2. Maybe Yulfan T2 Pro will go on sale soon? Anyway, Yulfan T2 is an interesting smartphone because of 6.7 inch display, Helio P70 chipset, 6 and 128 gigs of memory. Let's make the first review of Yulfan T2. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers, not to miss new videos. Yulfan T2 really looks like the phone that we saw more than a year ago. If the smartphone was something new and amazing a year ago, then today it is nothing special. There are many phones on the market with similar design. Yulfan T2 has a notch above the display, thin bezels on sides. On the back, there is dual camera, flashlight and fingerprint reader. The rear panel is made of 3D glass. Also, the phone has metal frame. Yulfan T2 has USB Type-C port and dual SIM slot, but it doesn't have 3.5mm audio jack. I cannot say that a new mobile device from Yulfan looks revolutionary and unusual, because it has typical design for smartphone in 2019. However, the glass back panel, metal frame, thin bezels around the display make Yulfan T2 a beautiful phone. Perhaps the main feature of this phone is display. It has a diagonal of 6.7 inches and Full HD Plus resolution. You can read on the official website that new phone has 98% of NTSC color gamut and 470 nit brightness. It seems that Yulfan T2 has a very good display. Talking about hardware, Yulfan T2 is powered by Helio P70 chipset. This is 12 nanometer processor with maximum clock speed of 2.1 GHz and AI support. It is about 15% more powerful than Helio P60. The smartphones on Helio P70 chipset score about 150,000 points in n Tudo. Yulfan T2 has 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal memory with microSD support. Of course, the new phone runs on Android 9.0 Pi operating system. As for the camera, there is dual camera on the back, 16 megapixels main sensor and 8 megapixels secondary sensor and 8 megapixels camera on the front panel. I don't expect a miracle from the cameras, but I hope that the second sensor on the back is real, not fake. The battery is pretty big here, 4200mAh. Of course, it is not as big as the battery of Alcatel K12, 10000mAh, but 4200mAh is still good for long battery life. It also supports wireless charging and 18W fast charging. Yulfan T2 is not Yulfan T2 Pro that we saw a year ago. It has fingerprint reader on the rear panel, but not under the display. The cameras and battery are also much worse. Anyway, Yulfan T2 is already go on sale, while Yulfan T2 Pro will probably never be released. The price of the phone is $270. Do you think it is a good deal? Write in comments below. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.